Hello everyone, I'm Saeed. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new feature in uh, Entity Framework 8 called mapping raw SQL query result into unmapped type. But we need to think what values they uh, want to add in our uh, projects. For uh, knowing this, we need to check before having this feature, what we handled for mapping queries. So I prepared a project, a simple project that has two model, author as a name, primary key, and a list of books. So each other can have multiple books. This uh, model um, has this uh, property name. Okay. I already generate the migrations here and also the database. But if we have this query in our application for getting the author name and books. Um, so this one is a list of the uh, records, author name, Joseph Al-Bahari, and uh, has two books, C sharp 10 in nutshell, and also C sharp 9. How we can map this result? Because these two uh, properties uh, is not in our tables, you know, is not in the, our uh, entities. So let's see. For having this, um, when we say um, context, uh, for example, authors from raw school, but the point is this returned result from this method must be in this uh, properties for the author but we don't need this i already create another model for the this result uh, so we have two properties author name and book name in the entity framework uh, six or seven i already um, using the entity framework seven there is a concept called keyless entities. Remember that when we say entity, it means having primary keys. But keyless entity types uh, exactly came for this purpose, for mapping this kind of um, queries. Or for, for example, you have a view in your database. So view is not an actual table. It's just a query that returns some specific result. So also for uh, mapping those views result, you can use the keyless uh, entity types. How we can add or use uh, the keyless entity types? If you go here in the, your application DB context and uh, model creating you can use you say entity for this uh, model but you say it has no key so by this way you are telling entity framework okay i'm adding this model as an entity but it has not any keys okay so by this way, you can uh, map or let's see, result context set. You can set any entity here. Author dot uh, from raw skill. So now you can put the query here uh, here and because it's the it's not executed yet you need to put method for execute actual query against your database so let's see another point uh, that I wanted to add when you are adding the entity to the database, it actually entity framework is still um, think that this is an actual entities. But okay, 
has no any keys. I mean, if you uh, generate the migration, for example, test. Okay. As you can see here, it will detect this uh, um, entity, author of books, as a table and wants to create a table for it, which is not correct. We need to find a way to exclude this uh, model from the migrations. So let me first remove the created migration by running remove migration here. Okay, um, and here only we need to say, okay, to table, but we want to exclude it from migrations. So if I run it again, migration, yeah, you see it will create an empty migrations, which means uh, there is no change in your entities. Okay, uh, so let's run this uh, query here. Okay. Yeah, you can see there is two records here. Joseph Al-Bahari, C-sharp 10, and also C-sharp 9. Okay. Nice. So we could handle these uh, queries, which is not uh, an entity in our uh, database, but still we could map the result. Okay. But now let's see uh, what uh, Entity Framework 8 added for us. First, I want to update this uh, nuget packages here the latest um, version for uh, entity framework is ef8 rc1 if i just copy the version and replace all of this version with the new one okay let it Okay, successful. Um, so now we don't need to define these uh, enti keyless entity types. Another point just I wanted to mention here, uh, you can use this uh, annotation here as well for the keyless entity types anyway. But we don't need it anymore for mapping the unmapped uh, type. So. I want to remove completely this one. So now we can use this uh, syntax database uh, SQL query. Yeah. By this SQL query, you can put any type that you want to map the result. And here we want to map result to the author books. Okay, and here we need to put the this query, and of course to this thing. Yeah. So this one running this query against your database and then map the um, this result to the this model okay first let me run this the query okay and yeah this is the exact result from the the query and its work Okay, so as you can see, uh, by having this feature, you don't need those keyless uh, entity types anymore in uh, .NET 8 and uh, EF8 as well. Um, so it, it's really good. 
the, you don't need to add extra configuration for your entities because actually those are not entities it's just like a DT, DTO models I think this one is a uh, actually um, exactly like the dapper if you use dapper you know that in dapper you can easily map any result from the query to any model it doesn't matter should be an entity or a keyless entity or whatever and entity framework a try to achieve this goal with the uh, like the mapper and uh, it, it's really good i'm happy that uh, they are adding this uh, feature i try to cover all of these other uh, entity framework 8 the other features uh, in another videos and uh, if you like this uh, content please make sure you're subscribed see you in next video thank you bye